What up, fam? But to hit y'all with a real quick reaction to what I thought about this travesty of a quarterback performance we saw today. Uh, I thought we'd lose. By the way, Happy New Year to Polk County No Nation. Uh, just leaving the store. Had to get me my New Year's Day bottle going. You know, so I'm gonna indulge in a little bit of the BSOP. <laughs> uh, is there? But anyway, let's talk about this game real quick. I ain't gonna be here on here on here very long. Um, Blackman throws what four or five five total turnovers. Those four interceptions. Uh, more so, I don't even need to review the game. Uh, hold on, put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Like I said before, like I said uh, weeks prior, week before in this prior video I just did, uh, FSU was, did, I didn't have him winning the game. A lot of turnover going in the program. And I said win or lose, I didn't think the game would matter or mean much of anything. Um, it means something and, and this is what it means. Uh, black men will not. I don't even think black men will be in the program next year. But if he is, he'll be the backup, second or third string, to be honest. Um, if you're Norvell, if you're Dillingham, I I said it once we once we flipped them. I said it. I said Purdy's your day one guy, and 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 there's that's that's the case. Purdy is your day one guy going forward into next year. Unless he's just a complete bust in this spring, like in the spring game, unless he just shows that he ain't got it, which I don't believe is the case. If you look at this Arizona State team and them going with the true freshman, if you look at North Carolina and them going with Sam Howell, who threw like 30 plus touchdowns as a, as a true freshman, though, in my opinion, the only right thing to do is go with Chubba Purdy from day one. On one exception. I was very impressed with this defense in this game. Now, granted, I already said I don't think the win or lose the game meant much, but I thought the game, I thought the defense played uh, up very well against what what is a Pac-12 offense, right? And Pac-12 is known for what putting up them points. We saw that same Pac-12 offense, you know, put up a ton of points and they beat Oregon and all this stuff. So, would you when you got Marv coming back? Right? Kane Doe coming back off an of injury. Woodbay coming back off an of injury. Nazaldine coming back off an of injury. You used to talk about implementing those pieces, right? Along with implementing, you know, the recruiting class. I got like Demori Tate probably can contribute off the bat. Travis J comes in, can probably contribute off the bat. Like when you start talking about. A young linebacker core, you might have a chance for a – that defense might surprise a lot of people last year, especially with a defensive coordinator and a defensive staff that we all think we have now. If you get the defense that I think we're going to have going into next year, you might look at the – you might look at that offensive situation. Okay, we already got one offensive tackle, grad transfer. You might look at that and go, do I want to risk it? with a true freshman quarterback and go through the pains? Or do I not want to waste this defense and maybe even try to compete for the Atlantic division? Maybe I get a grad transfer quarterback, another two transfer offensive linemen. All of a sudden, you got a competent offense, game one. You know, what if what if uh, Joshua Corbin gets his, his, his uh, what you call it, his, uh, Man, I'm drawing a blank right now. Waiver. He gets his waiver, and he's eligible for maybe day one or so. Uh, you got a chance to have something very interesting next year. I do think this team just defensively, we finally saw some guys like, I don't know. We just, I thought we looked pretty solid. But this is more so about just what to expect going into next year. This is the last video of 2019 you know when I started this thing and when did I, I started this thing in like September of this year 
and uh and we're gonna close the year off strong going into 2020 i'm gonna speak it right now the channel is gonna boom boom and grow uh yeah this is just you know just a quick reaction to the to the game we didn't have any real running backs on the roster you know Blackman was the best player Arizona State had. What is the deal with Jordan Travis, yo? What is the deal with that kid? This kid's a play, like he is a playmaker, period, point blank. I don't care what you say. You put the ball in that dude's hands. He makes guys miss. He's obviously got some get up on him. Probably running in a four or five-ish area. He's got, he's fast. He's got agility, elusivity, like, he must have prosthetic arms. Jordan Travis must, his arms must just be for looks and he must can't throw the ball five yards or they might not even work. Or is his arms really broken? Somebody tell me the answer to, what's the deal with uh, Jordan Travis? Why won't they let this dude throw the ball? There was no reason for James Blackman to even be getting the snaps he was getting, except the fact that for whatever reason, he wouldn't let Jordan Travis throw the ball. That man didn't try to pass, and every pass he tried was a lateral. So that's ridiculous to me. I don't think Jordan Travis has a sh shot to play next year if he can't throw. And I don't. The sad part is, who, I don't know if he can throw. They ain't letting him throw. You know, Bryles, you were cool, man, but you know, have fun out there in Arkansas. At the end of the day. We can blame Terry all we want for that fumble. I blame Bryles, and I know Bryles isn't the one that fumbled the football. And that's a fair point. Yet Bryles, in a key situation, tries to get too cute with a 6'3", 6'4", 200-pound running back who's, excuse me, rye receiver who's long and lanky, but you're trying to have him run in congested areas like a running back, like a short, stout running back. And, of course, he fumbles. He's not – he don't know how to uh, – it's not that he don't know. He's not trained to with high and tight as like a running back should uh, be running with the football. So, of course, he fumbled. If you, you could have ran that same play, quite frankly, you could have ran that same play with Sheffield. Now, I get, the, I get the method to the madness. I get that I need to put the ball in my playmaker's hands. But you could have found another way to get Terry the ball in his hands. I, I thought Bryles was really piss poor for a guy that was going out and I think maybe should have wanted to impress um, Arkansas I don't think he had his best game to his defense he was not aided with James Blackman at all Blackman was absolutely shell shocked dude was in his own head he was done he was man We that that's the that, unfortunately for that dude, because I actually like James Blackman, I think he's a knoll at heart. I think he always wanted to be good and do good. He just, he just wasn't the guy. Doesn't, you know, he still throws a good ball, but he, I think it's maybe, you know, between the ears. Just never had it. Um, I wish the best for him, and I wish his last game at Florida State would have been different than this. But I. I'm almost 100% sure he played his last game at FSU today. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy game. It wasn't a bad – it was a sloppy football game. It, it had a little bit of entertaining moments. But it, I'm not upset, if you can tell. Like, I'm not upset at all. Again, never thought James Blackman in, or, or, or in Florida State was going to win this game. I said there was too much transition in the program going on. Too many guys out the door. Uh, you know, the sad, but the thing that does frustrate you is when you watch the game, you go, we should have won the game. Regard, despite me saying all that, when you actually go watch the game, we should have won it. We were the better team for sure. Offensively, they couldn't do nothing. And... You know, offensively, we couldn't do nothing. But we had opportunities that we floundered away with, with uh, turnovers. But, yo, just a quick rundown, bro.
Polk County know, man. You guys have a happy, safe new year. Uh, don't be out there drinking and driving, doing stupid shit. And be safe. Um, hey, see you in 2020, man. Let's go nose.